Hi, my name is uh, Paul Wilms. I've been a researcher in Luxembourg for almost 15 years. I returned to my native Luxembourg through the FNR's uh, a track program from the University of California, Berkeley in 2010. So our group uh, works on uh, complex communities of uh, microbes, also called microbiomes. We study these in the environment as well as uh, in the context of us humans as hosts. And we are very much interested in gaining unprecedented insights such that we can ultimately control these complex systems, for example, for sustainable production uh, processes, but also for the furtherment of human health. So our research group has uh, pioneered tools uh, which are allowing us unprecedented deep insights into uh, microbiomes. And when we applied these methods in the context of uh, microbiomes in the environment, we've been able to unravel the lifestyle strategies of individual uh, microbial populations. We've also been able most recently uh, to use this high resolution data that we are able to generate to forecast microbiomes with very high degrees of accuracy well into the future. And this is of course ultimately uh, needed for us to control uh, these complex systems. Um, we've applied the same methods um, in the context of uh, different uh, human chronic diseases uh, ranging from uh, neurological conditions uh, to cancer. And what we have found in the context of those diseases is that there are functional shifts in the microbiome um, in individuals, again, with a given disease. And so now the next question is whether uh, these functional shifts are a cause or a consequence of the disease. And uh, to unravel um, the causal relationships, uh, we have developed a, a human microbial co-culture system or a gut on a chip, in effect, uh, called Humix. And with Humix, we're able to now test hypotheses to really um, get at mechanistic understanding of how functional shifts in the microbiome may in particular be a trigger for disease. What we want to do in future is now to use um, these deep insights that we've gained into microbiomes uh, to control them and steer them towards specific constellations that would have benefits, such as in the context of the environment, we want to use them to develop sustainable bioprocesses, such as, for example, for the recovery of valuable resources from wastewater streams. On the human front, what we want to do is to uh, steer them towards constellations that would be associated with health, whereby we would then be able to um, ultimately prevent and also treat disease. Given that microbiomes are so vital to processes that really concern us as humans, um, generally they will be able to be leveraged uh, for ensuring environmental sustainability as well as human health.